Hello, sweet souls. Happy Wednesday. It is July 10th, and this is going to be your second reading. Thank you to all of my followers. Thank you for your love, your support, your donations. Um, and if you wouldn't mind following me on YouTube, I would really appreciate it. I'm only going to post shorts on TikTok because of the issues I have with downloading the full-length videos. So we're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending ill will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer, we're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angel, saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. Let's see what's coming in for the collective. Collective energy. Truth and only truth for the collective current energy. Wow. I love it. All right. This is amazing. So here's the thing. You are a powerful manifester. You guys have been manifesting since your awakening and you learned about energy. You've been manifesting. The spiritual realm is near, now clearing the path to make way for your manifestation. This manifestation leads you to an abundant life, milk and honey, the life that you deserve, a very blessed life, a life, a life filled with peace and harmony. Um, card number 20, 20, this talks about you being in alignment. You being connected with your higher self and with God puts you in a position to be able to manifest. Card number 21, it, it reduces to a three, which is the ascended masters. The spiritual realm is clearing the path for you. Card number 51 reduces to a six. This is peace and harmony being restored in your life. And then we got card number 38, 11, justice. This is your justice. You are manifesting uh, an amazing life. And we do see someone from the past here watching. What they're watching, 19, uh, sorry, 49, that ultimately reduces to a four. This is your stability. Someone is watching you and they're watching things unfold that you are manifesting. They're watching you receive justice. They're seeing that you are stable and you are protected. Four is stability and protection. So let's just see, guys. I'm going to use a different deck today for this. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. I love you so much. I hope you have said your positive affirmations, um, major I am statements. All right, let's see, guys. Imagine, Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, Saints, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please clarify. Imagine. Imagine. Yeah, look at this. Death and the Queen of Wands. You're manifesting this rebirth. You went through significant endings that created space for a new beginning. In this new beginning, you are a true leader. That's beautiful. Queen of Wands, you're beautiful. You're handsome. You're very confident. Now, this just, I don't didn't see this, but it's laying here. So the Eight of Pentacles, it could have to do with uh, your creative projects. You could be manifesting an expansion or growth, new opportunities in career and finance, and I see it happening. Yeah, look at that. Good news is coming. Page of Wands. All right. Let's see. Please clarify. Also, if you guys are interested in scheduling a private reading, I'm scheduling for next week. I'm only accepting 10, so please schedule sooner than later. And if you're interested in meeting new people, check out Astrodibity. You can find all of my links and the bio TikTok description of YouTube 333 was on my timer. Ascended Masters. You guys may be seeing that number. Clean it up. Yeah. We got St. Michael. I feel like this is St. Michael out here protecting you, clearing the path, removing um, negative energies and obstacles so that you can prosper. Queen of Pentacles so that you can prosper. That's beautiful. I love it. All right. Please clarify milk and honey. Milk and honey. Yeah, so you in the past were in this five of cups, a lot of sadness, a lot of pain when you went through this ending. But now three of wands, you're moving on. You're making big plans. You're manifesting your desires. It's beautiful energy. So you definitely have relied on the spiritual realm to guide you into an abundant life. And that's what I'm seeing. Yeah, you're protected. Seven of wands. You're very protected. All right. Please clarify to be fair. To be fair. Wow. So what's fair? What's fair is the person that put 10 swords in your back, this emperor, this father figure, this boss. What's fair is that they will receive the same treatment with the wheel of fortune in the middle. 10 of swords, 
the wheel of fortune and the emperor. What is fair is for this person to experience the same suffering that you suffered. That's what's fair. All right. Please clarify observer. Please clarify observer. Yeah. See, <laughs> The person that's watching you is destined to go through this Ten of Swords if they're not currently going through the Ten of Swords. They're watching you heavily burdened. And what they're watching is you're this earth angel temperance energy, very peaceful, very balanced. You have so much harmony in your life. Why? Because you are the Empress. You are this high vibrational divine femme energy. You're very creative. You're loving. You're compassionate. It's beautiful. All right. Let's see. Let's do another round, guys. Let's do the AE weight. I think we'll do the AE weight on this round. All right. With Imagine, you are you went through an ending which allowed you to have this rebirth. Um, raise your vibration. Take your power back to manifest. This could be um, pertaining creative projects with the Eight of Pentacles. Things really working out for you. Eight of Pentacles, um, Queen of Wands, and the Death. Imagine. Let's clarify Imagine. Yeah, this ending is bad news for someone else that you have released it and that you are in your full power. You're strong. You can't be defeated. And that's a challenge for someone. Uh, with Clean It Up, we can see St. Michael is here with the King of Swords protecting you, but also clearing the path for you to receive your abundance. Clean it up. Yeah, so that you can get your just reward, so that you could be elevated. This lady or man of luxury, having a luxurious life, being independent and confident, self-sufficient, relying on God. All right, milk and honey, you're being led toward this abundant life. Um, a lot of peace and harmony, where once you were in the five of cups, a lot of sadness, a lot of sorrow. Now you're making big plans for the future, manifesting your dreams. Milk and honey. Milk and honey. Yeah. So we can see you're moving away from someone. You're embracing the energy of peace. You're moving on, spiritually led, from this cheater, liar, snake that was a player. This person may try to come back in and say, I'm sorry, to try to heal the situation. Be mindful, okay? With justice, to be fair, it is just and fair for the, this emperor energy that should have been a divine match to you, that fell from grace, that put ten swords in your back. It is just that this person's karma will be the same horrible pain that they caused you. That is what's just, to be fair. Yeah, you know, this person is blocked in their own sorrow, blocked in the memories, still trying to hold on, but not to worry. You've made the right decision. You are moving on to victory, which is amazing. With Observer, we can see someone is carrying a heavy burden, watching you have complete and utter peace. Observer. Yeah. So this can be uh, a king of pentacles or someone that has a Virgo placement or sorry, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn placement in their chart. Um, they're being blocked by St. Michael because this person has done nothing but try to create chaos and conflict for you. St. Michael is the blockage for this person. They're in mental anguish. They're stressed out because you're free. You are free to find new love, new soul connections. Wow, wow, and wow. All right, let's do the kipper, guys. I want to do the kipper. Happy birthday to the uh, cancer signs. I am a cancer moon. I don't know about you guys um, having a sun sign as cancer, but I know for me and cancer season and also the planetary stuff that's going on right now, 
I've been really emotional. I felt emotional. Yesterday, I just was sitting here and felt like crying, like randomly. I'm like, what in the heck is going on? So you guys have to let me know if that's happening for you too. Please clarify, imagine. Please clarify, imagine. Yeah, there's that death guard. You went through this death and rebirth. It set you free. Closing out a cycle set you free in such a big way. Yeah, you set yourself free. You, from what you were trapped in, this was a nightmare. Death to the Eight of Swords is like an end of imprisonment. Setting yourself free. Wow, I love it. Okay, clean it up. Clean it up. Wow. So the spiritual realm, St. Michael is dealing with this false person. It could be a couple, a false feminine, false masculine that's been wearing a mask, being fake, uh, that's been interfering. They're cleaning it up because this person, these people have been trying to put you in a, in a place of despair, but it's being reversed. You are not in despair, but it's going back to this couple. They will be in despair. Yeah, look, lovers, it's a karmic couple. They come out all the time. All right, milk and honey. Milk and honey. Yeah, see, he, you have this wealthy man coming in. You are this privileged lady, whether you're a man or a woman. You have this connection that's coming in. 12 and 13, it's a perfect match. This is a couple that is going to have a very abundant life, a very happy life. That's beautiful. I love it. All right. To be fair, please clarify to be fair. Yeah, someone that tried to um, destroy your gift, your gifts, discredit you if you're spiritually gifted, or if they tried to steal something from you that was a gift that belonged to you. I also, I feel like, it's being reversed and something will be taken from them. I also see they tried to try to prevent you from coming into union with a high level soul connection, but that's in the upright. So you are still going to have this union regardless of what they tried to steal from you. Okay, let's get another one for it to be fair. House. Yeah, so I'm seeing that you are still going to have this divine partnership. You're still going to have this loving home. And if they tried to destroy your occupation, you're still going to get sudden wealth because that's justice. So none of it's worked. All right, please clarify observer. Observer. Yeah. So there is a karmic feminine. And there's blocked messages. So this karmic feminine could also be spying on you, trying to uh, block whatever messages you're putting out. This is someone um, that did not want you to have a new beginning. But what's happening because of these actions that this karmic feminine took, along with the karmic masculine, they're going to be in bad health. Something is going to happen as it pertains to their health because of this. This is the consequences. 1333 on my timer. This is divine intervention. This is the spiritual realm seeking retribution. Your pathway is clear. You have nothing to worry about. Your pathway is clear. And this, these thieves are being exposed. They're being exposed. Yeah, a whole community that was involved is being exposed. You are still going to get your great fortune. Yeah, you are not going to be in poverty. Nope. That's going to go re go back. It's going to be reversed. This karmic couple doesn't want to be accountable, but they're going to be made to be accountable. Wow. That's crazy. All right. Let's see. Let's do the... Queen of the Moon Oracle. See what we get, guys. All right. Truth and only truth for the collective. What does the collective need to be aware of? Truth and only truth. Yeah, you have freedom. Spiritual, energetic, physical freedom from these people. You are free. That's the change that's occurring. You're attracting what you're manifesting. That's beautiful. 
Whoops, 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 sorry. All right. The change, card number 41, is 8, 44, 8, your abundance, an abundant life. That's the change. Yeah, you've done a lot of self-reflection. Um, you reflected on the things that you needed to change in your life. And 8-8, uh, eight, eight, side by side. And you've come to a lot of realizations. You've gotten a lot of clarity. You've taken the action you need to take uh, to change things in your life for the better. Yeah, now you're able to use your discernment. You have freed yourself from uh, karmic energies in the 3D. Yeah, and you're embracing the energy of peace. Wow. You can expect the unexpected because you are, in ta you are taking inspired action. So expect the unexpected. Well, these cards are going crazy in my hand today. Um, I can also see a lust-filled energy here with hunger. Um that has been trying to interfere, but you're co-creating with God. This person sits in the energy of darkness. And you're protected. The spiritual realm is definitely protecting you. You can expect growth. Things are going to start growing. That's also card number five, which is change. Things are going to start growing. Why? Because you surrendered and you have pure intentions. You weren't out to hurt anyone. You're just trying to live your best life. Be the best version of you. Love yourself. Love others. You had pure intentions. And that's why things are aligning for you. They said, you know, regardless of people trying to create resistance in your life, you have new beginnings here. The pathway, the door is open to you. You accepted all that you went through and surrendered it to God. Now you're seeing the beauty within you. You are learning your value and worth. You are in alignment. Because of this transformation is occurring. Yeah, this is a masculine energy that's been creating a lot of um, resistance in your life. But you stay in a space of gratitude, love and gratitude. That's too high vibrational for dark, lust-filled energies to interfere. Yeah, you have the power. And you trust. The power is in your faith. You've released this person and you're just moving on. Yeah, you set boundaries. You released and set boundaries. You were patient on the Lord. You know, you have this higher level insight, wisdom. And you're stepping into the unknown. You have faith. The, what, whoever this person is that put, through, put you through extremes in your life, you were too resilient. And like I said, this person remains in darkness while you enjoy life with pleasure. They are watching. Um, they're focused on you, but what they're seeing is everything is growing in your life. Change is occurring. Your manifestations are coming to fruition. It's because, like I said, your faith. Your faith. That's beautiful, guys. All right, this is your second reading. I love you guys. I hope that you have an absolute amazing day, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.